Hell yeah, guys, what's up? Two weeks ago, there's this video I posted which shows our stands removing vibrations from this table, right? So there was a guy who responded to the video on Facebook and he said, but do those vibrations turn into audible sound? If so, I guess you'd be measuring that, yes? And that's exactly what this week's video is about. Now, you can actually hear the difference between the speaker directly on the desk and the speaker on a Soundrise stand, as well as see the vibrations gone at the same time. Let's talk a little about what we just heard. The speaker directly on the table is actually boomier. By that I mean the bass is wider. It feels louder. And that is your table amplifying that deep bass boom sound. And when we switch to the speaker sitting on top of the Soundrise Pro, it feels tighter. The bass doesn't seem as loud, which at first might seem like not a good thing, but it actually is a good thing. It is the true sound of what you're hearing. The transparent, clear, clean bass without any distortion from the room, the table. And your speaker is the thing that should give you the honest representation of what you're recording. I have my Tula condenser mic sitting on a tripod. And that's placed at the in-between points of the two tweeters. Six feet away in front of the vibration meter app. Okay, so I've got both of my Kali LP6s coming out of separate outputs of my Apollo Twin, and I'm switching between the two with the Alt key. Here's another example, but listen this time how instead of an 808 bass, you're hearing more of a table 08, and how that louder bass almost washes out the hi-hats and the other instruments in the mix. Listen. It doesn't let you hear each element separately when your speaker's directly on the table. The table creates a washed out sound that covers up all the individual elements. So that was just the example with the Soundrise stand. I think we can do more videos using our domes, using those foam stands, you know, typical foam pads for speakers, all of which are great examples to do on upcoming videos. So if you guys enjoy this kind of content, I'm not gonna tell you what to do, but it'd be great for us to reach a thousand subscribers and for Soundrise to actually be partnered with YouTube. The link to the Tula microphone is down there and also all the connectors I use to make it work on the iPhone is also listed below. Cali speakers as well, the price range that they're in, you will not find better monitors, I promise you. Cool, so more examples coming in the following weeks. Thanks for watching, rise up.